you did a real a lot of hard work to become an actor. You started at a young age. And to me, when, when, I, when I look at this, you know, you're going out on auditions at like, I guess I'm going to say eight years yeah, old I was is when eight. you start. I was eight, right. You make the decision that, I guess you were rejected for a couple of commercials, and you say, as an eight-year-old, I don't like doing commercials. I'm not going to do it. I'm only doing film. Right. You announced that to your mom, I guess. Yes. I, I mean, that's a pretty sophisticated concept. <laughs> you would think you'd say, hey, whatever work I can get, I'm going to take. But no, you're only a film actor. Who the hell did I think I was? <laughs> yeah, who, who were you <laughs> that you would even have that idea? So at, how old are you when you debut uh, off-Broadway with Ethan Hawke? Like, what age are you? I think I was eight. Eight years old? Yeah. Now, you probably say to yourself at eight, if I'm off-Broadway with Ethan Hawke, this career is kind of easy. I don't know what all these adults are complaining about. This Absolutely. Is kinda, right? Do you, do you have this sort of delusion that this is just going to be the simplest thing ever? Well, I already know. I mean, I, I definitely wasn't delusional because I was putting in the legwork. You know what I mean? Right. I was, I was, like I said, I was going on a lot of auditions and I was being rejected most of the time. Right. And then, you know, I think what happens is when you're a kid actor and you book a job. So the next, the, the first film that I did was a movie called North that Rob Reiner directed. And I had a small part in that. Hmm. And, um, you know, but when you're a kid actor, it's different than being, you know, an adult. You know, I think casting directors realize they can depend on you because you're kind of a professional Kid. Right. And so, you know, directors sort of look at the reel of actors, kid actors that are already working because they know that there's a, I think, a, a, a vocabulary that you understand, um, you know, and it gives them some comfort, I think. At 10 years old, you're at the Lee Strasberg uh, School for Acting. Yeah. Everyone in the class is an adult. There's no other ten year olds. Yeah, in there, there. well I I, w I was in their kids' class and then I got um and then I and then the second year I moved into the like kind of older kids classes, kids that are mostly like 17, 18. Were you a prodigy? Were you considered, <laughs> I mean, you skipped from the 10-year-olds right up to the 17-year-olds. Did they consider you as some sort of superstar even then? I don't know. But, I, I mean, honestly, they, I don't really don't know what, I don't know how I got into that class. I mean, don't you become full of yourself when suddenly you, you're like, hey, fuck you, 10-year-olds. She's with the 17-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, that would be like if I was playing uh, in a Little League thing and then they brought me to the pros. You know what I mean? It's like a big step. I don't, I didn't know I don't think I was full of myself, but it's hard to remember. I mean, I'm an actor, so obviously there's a certain level of narcissism. Were there. the other people at Lee Strasberg, uh, were they jealous of you because you had been off-Broadway? And like you said, you already were cast in uh, Rob Reiner's North. Right, yeah. Uh, I mean, which was, at the time, you know, probably Rob Reiner, he had had a string of hits. Yeah. I mean, he was one time. of the biggest directors. Yeah, it was a good time for him. I don't know. I mean, I don't remember kids being particularly mean to me, but maybe that's just because I was... You know, uh, I, I don't know. I was I was a pretty low key kid. I I, I wasn't very flashy or showy or anything. But when like you that. go to regular school though, and you're not at least went Strasburg. to a regular public school. But for me, like, who went to see Sophistry with Ethan Hawke <laughs> off Broadway? Like, nobody gave a shit. You know what I mean? Were you as <laughs> as, as a, a little girl? Were you just enamored with Ethan Hawke? Were I was you... enamored with Ethan Hawke. Yeah, I mean, it must have oh, been. Oh my god, totally. I was just absolutely enamored. And this was, you know, I don't know, ninety whatever, ninety five or something like that. So that was that was be prime. Because he represents <laughs> what you want to be right he was a successful working actor that and was... he was also gorgeous right. and like this you know guy and young guy in his 20s that was like you know smoking four cigarettes at once and is like <laughs> cool. you know tingle was flipped backwards or whatever do, do you still know ethan hawk is that a relationship that i do you i do, do know him and it's so funny to see him of course now see, like you're that little girl <laughs> yes. I, I acted with right yeah for sure yeah it's got to be weird it must be weird because i have boobs now yeah i see his boobs <laughs>